Hello and welcome back to some PvP War Skyblock. I'm excited for this one because there were some huge changes made to the server. Number one, they added the new admin crate. They also added the new Ditto pet, which what this pet does is actually insane. Any mob you kill is upgraded to the next tier. For example, if you kill a cow, it'll upgrade to a goat and give you that loot. If you kill a max tier cow, it'll give you a max tier goat. They also added a brand new global boss battle that spawns in every hour and drops a super OP loot pouch. I'm excited to check that out, but that'll have to be down the line. They also have slash uh, wager, it looks like. So they have two games you can play. Try to guess where the multi will land. You win if the multi goes over your guess. Uh, okay. Um, example 1.7. Let's do 1.5. Okay, what's this one? Try not to <laughs> click the bomb. Okay, that's it. How many mines? Um, let's do five mines. This one. Okay. Wow. Let me try that again. Let me let me just, let me try that again. Hold on, hold on. I got this. Ready? Are you? You're joking. They also added power spawners back, which is super awesome. I'm excited to check that out. Uh, they have a new top tier spawner, which looks to be a mushroom cow. Let me go and open up these pet G kit pouches. Ooh. Get, oh, well, PvP. I mean, I want to PvP at some point. I love that I can have all my pets active. It's so good. Um, ooh, okay. Actually, that's pointless because the the armor gives me better. I mean, I could probably sell it. Ooh, well, hold on a minute. The new admin crate looks insane. Look at that thing, man. Oh, I wish I could get it. I don't have enough goobits, though. It's so unfortunate. So we're going to just slam through our vote keys and see what we get. Uh, we got some mob coins uh, throughout that. I'm not going to go over the exact amounts. We got a basic orb, which gave us cripple two. Uh, that's... That's not good. I really just no, <laughs> no way. We also got three creeper spawners, three pig spawners. Not bad. Um, we got six crimson keys. Let's go ahead and slam through these as well. We got some experience there. We got a, a scratch card for money. That's good. I'm glad it's not cosmetics. If it was cosmetics, I would have cried because I have them all. I I get nothing from this. I think that is so sad. Oh yeah, guys, do you like what I've done with this place? I've decorated it a bit more since last time. I've just decided to claim my kit a little bit and, well, spruce it up, and it's, it's kind of looking nice. Let's go and warp to zone and see what we can do there. I also still need to find a way to get a harvester hoe, but now we actually have powered spawners in this zone, which means we actually have more to do here. Um, I don't have to just sit here and run around and, you know, smack wheat. I can also come over here and spawn elk. Uh, or wait for them to spawn, I guess, because they just spawn. Come here, guys. Oh, wait, I can fly. Am I supposed to be able to fly in here? Oh, wow. Hold on. 75k per? Yeah, oh yeah, I'll farm these guys all day. You know I'll farm these guys all day. Give me that money. Like the benches. The benches are nice. Ooh, a ghoul. So this is probably a not friendly mob, which means it'll attack us, and that's actually going to be a lot more exciting. And it might also give us better money. Do they have extra drops, or is this the only thing they drop? I mean, it's kind of simplified, uh, a simplified version of what they were doing uh, in the previous seasons. And I honestly kind of like that, because I never really utilized most of it before, but now it's just all about money, which, again, simplified, keeps it very, I'm gonna say noob-friendly, but in, in the kindest way possible. I'd say they're not worth it, if I'm being honest. The elk die a lot faster. Yeah, they take a lot longer to spawn in, but like, well, I guess not really, they take the same amount of time to spawn in, it's just you have a little downtime, but I don't think it's worth it unless you can kill the ghouls a lot faster than I can. We have more elk here and carrots, so that's actually nice. You can farm them up here as well, and there's one in between here, which is nice. So you can kind of go back and forth. I guess what I'm gonna do is kind of that. I'm just gonna chop up a bit of wheat when those guys spawn in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill them. Oh, and by the way, guys, you can join the server. All the information is down in the description. It is also available on Bedrock for you, uh, for you Bedrock players. It is a great server. Highly recommend it, guys. 787k plus an extra 196k. Like, it's nothing. Oh, I love that. This is actually gonna be a great way to make some money. So, I, I mean, I need to say it, start saving up for some spawners and stuff. You know what I should do? I should activate some boosters. Let me do a pet booster, skills booster. Uh, I don't think this gives mob coins, really. I, I'm not really that bothered by it. And we'll do a personal money booster as well. Oh, that reminds me. Hold on. Do I have enough? <gasps> I do. Okay, we're gonna get that to level two. I'm gonna get my money booster, if I can, to level two as well. 
That is awesome. So my money and my skills have been buffed to two times. That is absolutely amazing. That's going to be super helpful with making money because I'm going to be able to get the carrots soon and so on, so on. I really want to fight that boss as well, but the thing is, I don't know how difficult he is. Does anyone know? If you know, please comment down below. Like, is that something I can do? I guess it's a global boss, so, like, everyone can jump it, but... And I imagine some will, so... It should be fine. I think I'll check that out. Actually, I was gonna say... I was gonna say now, but, like, I don't know... I don't know how to... How to tell... When bro's gonna spawn in. I guess it says every hour, huh? So, probably on the hour. That makes sense. Which means I should have waited a little bit for this recording. I might actually... Pause and do that. I've got time. I'll wait. I'll wait for this boss to spawn in so I can kill it. Absolutely. Ooh, a supply crate event. Oh, <gasps> mm, I really want to go for that. Oh, I gotta go for that. Oh, God. Am I going in there now? Did, did, it, did it give me the ability to start on voice? Did I just see that? That's not real, right? Surely not. Surely they wouldn't give me the ability to start and stop on voice. That would just be too much power. Did I miss an update? They were like, hey, media, you can now do this, and they were, and that's great. I, I don't know. God, I'm so slow. I should have been in the other set for speed. Just ran. But I figured if I was going to possibly get jumped, I might as well be able to handle it. Hey, bud, I'm just passing through. Dude, this is awesome. It's like a little PvP area. Oh, shit. Oh, it's so cool. Um, But yeah, there's absolutely no envoys down here. This was a waste of my time. Well, except for the fact that it was really cool. I guess, and you, never mind. It's not a waste of my time. It was really cool to check it out. What's this? Did I just get a fucking power up? Wow, this is a nice, nice war zone. I don't know what this is, but I'm picking them up. I'm also not seeing any more envoys, which sucks. Welcome to the, f <laughs> Welcome to the fight club. Oh my god. Uh, but is, is there supply crates there? Probably not. I'm gonna give up on the supply crate run. Let's go back to spawn. Oh, but you can't use, uh, then how do I leave? Oh, there's a portal. Ah, hey, did you get any the good? We got Insomnia 1, Insomnia 2, and Insomnia 2. And we also got a sell one for three times. Does that work on this? I'll find out someday. Not right now. I'll let that, like, build up and then I'll test it. Give me something good. Give me something good. You know, 250k, I'll take it. That's not bad. I also haven't done the Wheel of Fortune yet. I should have a few. So we got 1 million experience, 500,000 experience, which is super awesome as well. And for our third spin, we get ourselves... Uh, 1.5 million experience. Wow, I'm loaded on experience. I don't know why that's not adjusting, but sure. 5,000 mob coins? Oh my god. And 3 million experience? Oh my god! 3,000 mob coins, let's go! And for our final... Or no, sorry, we should have more than that, right? Because it's set for, and if it's not updating, then I should have six now? 3,250 mob coins. We got some toy box keys. That's, that's pretty cool. We got 1.5 million experience, and that's our final one. Walrus balloon. A scepter. Oh, that's awesome. A leprechaun hat. That's sick. So I saw something a little unfortunate in chat. It looks like it's going to take a full another hour. I have no idea where it went. There it is. The boss was spawned in an hour. So unfortunately, it looks like I will not be fighting that boss today. I did also get a few skill levels up. So I got some uh, like 1,000 mob coins, which reminds me, I have 12,000 in total. Is there anything in slash transfer that I might want? A seed pouch would be kind of nice. I'm at least going to get one pet candy for my new pet, and then I'm also going to get a seed pouch. Witch spawners are pretty good, but I can't afford that, huh? All right, I'm going to go ahead and head back to my island, and I want to see what I get from the seed pouch. I got a lettuce plant. Okay. Oh, this didn't update yet because of cross-world stuff. Hold on, I want to see something. If I go back to this world, everything should be synced, and it should have better progress. Okay, I did in fact complete it. What does that get for me? Now, I want to go ahead, go to the shop, go to spawners. I want to buy an iron golem. I could save up for a gas, but the difference in price, I believe, is like 10 bucks. So I'm going to place them down here. We're going to test them out first. But before that, I also do want to spend the rest of this on upgrading this uh, loot path. Okay, so I didn't even finish this page, which is unfortunate, but that's actually still pretty good. Now, I need to remove this for just a second, set it like there, and then I want to actually move it back like that. Perfect. The only thing is, this is extremely slow and painful, but it could be decent for money. 
Actually, I'm gonna go on a limb and say this is not better than chopping uh, wheat. It just it just isn't a whopping 90. Whereas gas to your cell for 100, it's not that much of a difference. There are also upgrades, and you know what? With the 25 million, I could have got that, and that would have been better. But I didn't, and that's okay. Now, before I do anything, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of every single spawner that I have up here because I'm obviously gonna have to get rid of some because I only have spl uh, slots for three different things there. So this is the new finished design. There is more that I gotta do to this to, to make sure that I can get the XP, but everything will in fact die to lava, which is absolutely beautiful. Currently, I won't get the XP unless maybe if I stand in here and will not push the Iron Golem away, that'd be great. I don't know, I'm gonna figure that out in the future, a way for me to get the experience to be able to FK, but for now, it's working, it's giving me money, first and foremost, which is super awesome, and if I had 100 million, I'd add more area- oh, that's- oh, that's actually not bad. Wait, that gives me more. I guess I guess I have more spawners, huh? I think this is where I'm gonna go ahead and call this one. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you didn't, you haven't yet, make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe for more, join the server, all the information is down in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one.